the Gaming Mermaid and welcome to my channel. So I am here as Maleficent. I'm not sure if you could see, but today I wanted to show you guys my custom content that I have for my descendants as well as for Maleficent because I figured why not? I get a lot of questions, especially for her where I get the wings and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you where I get everything today. So if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like. And if you're new, subscribe to become a mermaid or a merman. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this started. Now, I also wanted to mention this. This is actually kind of important. I don't recommend using Adblock. I do believe in supporting creators, but however, Adfly can potentially give you viruses and trojans and things like that that are really, really bad for your computer. And I don't wanna be responsible for you guys getting your computers all messed up and I don't think it's worth it just for custom content. So I recommend downloading this Adfly Skipper. I know that Adfly supports the creators, but if you really wanna support the creators, I would definitely recommend donating to them anyway. But just for the safety of your own computer, I highly recommend using this just so that you don't get viruses or anything like that. It can be really tricky. You know, they they can be really tricky with those download links so I recommend using this that way you skip the ad fly you skip any of those crazy ads and pop-ups that come up that might harm your computer so I recommend using this so this is for Google Chrome I'm not aware if this is available for any other browsers or what have you so if you don't already have Google Chrome and you want to make sure that your computer stays safe definitely make sure to use that and then just Google ad fly skipper and then you'll be able to find this link right there this one right here it's called Malefica XD Sims 4 so as you can see, he or she makes a ton of Disney related custom content as well as Descendants. So that is where I got most of my stuff. See, this is where I got Beast and things like that. So if we continue scrolling down, we can see some of the outfits for the Descendants. So here are some of them right here. So I'm going to put this link in the description down below if you guys are curious to see. Again, there are a lot of other Descendants like Jane, Lonnie, Audrey, and Ben. Actually, I didn't even see that one in my game, to be honest. And then here is Mount and Eve signature outfits as well but this does not include the hair or the shoes or the makeup or anything like that so I'm going to go ahead and show you those as well but this is where I got most of it literally from this person's blog so if you guys are curious definitely check them out if you're interested in Disney related custom content they make some of the best custom content I have seen another great source is Spidey Will he made his own custom content for Descendants as well so if you are curious or interested in like a deep blue color for Evie's hair or you want some other outfits for Dizzy for example you can definitely check out his blog as well. For some reason the link that I had for Uma's hair is no longer in existence and I'm not sure why but it was literally I'll show you what it was called. It was by Nessa Sims and it was called Sparks Twist or something like that. It was a recolor of Nightcrawler so this is the original hair right here. This is on the Sims resource and this is by Nightcrawler. It's called Spark but Nessa Sims did a recolor of that. So actually, if you guys are curious and interested in making your own hair recolors, I have two tutorials, one basic one and one advanced one on how to make hair recolors. If you want to make her hair into the turquoise kind of hair for yourself, I have tutorials on that if you are curious to make that for yourself. I found this hair actually, it's kind of similar to the one she has and it has the teal color, so that would be really great. So if you're not interested in creating your own hair recolors, you can just go ahead and download this one instead. I believe I used this for Harry, um, the pirate outfit. It kind of, I think so. So if you guys want a, a pirate outfit or if you're interested in really cool looking CC, I highly recommend Studio K. And I think this was the hat that I used for Harry as well. So this is on The Sims Resource. It's by this creator right here. So you can go ahead and check that out. Never mind. I actually think I used this one, which is on Mod The Sims. Oh my goodness. I found so many different types of hats. I was looking all over for pirate CC for Harry and Uma. So I, I'm pretty pretty sure this is the one I actually ended up using for Harry. I'm not exactly sure if I remember using this, but this is a katana. I mean, it would work very well for the piratey sort of theme. So if you want a sword for your pirates, that would be something to use. Here's another sort of piratey outfit. I believe this is from Oh my gosh, one piece. Um, but you know, it does work well for pirates. So if you're interested in using this for Harry, for example, or Gil, um, that might be a great option as well. Now I found this 
and I was so excited about it because it just looks so amazing. This is from Merman Simmer and it is a mermaid tail and a mermaid top which I think looks amazing. So obviously I used this for Uma when she was still like a squid octopus or whatever for her dark form. So I, I used this and I again I will leave everything in the description down below but I just think they did such an amazing job on this so I had to give it a shout out. This is the outfit that I used for the evil queen. It's called Queen of the Night and this is by Bereth. So if you guys are interested in making the evil queen, that is the dress that I used. I think it's pretty, it's pretty perfect. This is actually like a little coat that I used for Cruella de Vil. So I definitely used that in the white color, I believe. So if you want to make Cruella de Vil, that is what I used for her. Here's another set for the evil queen. If you like this one better, I think this one looks really awesome as well, but it wasn't exactly what I was going for. I wanted to get the other dress. I feel like that one suits evil queen in my mind a little bit more, but this is definitely definitely like literal snow white sets um so if you're interested in that you can check that out and this is the hair that I use for Cruella de Vil so it has that two-toned look to it which I think looks really nice so those were all the ones that I had saved to my uh, browser so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the custom content that I have for Maleficent I made Maleficent a few years ago actually so I've had this saved for quite a while so the first one here are the eyes I feel like the eyes are very important because the eyes in her in the movie Maleficent they were like this weird looking it was kind of like rainbowish green silvery so they're these right here those are the ones that I specifically use for Maleficent if you're curious I have them saved because I feel like that's a really important part of Maleficent's look these are the leggings that I use for her they're bandage leggings by Beck Beck Eye I believe so that is what I use for her again these were made a long time ago when the game first first came out so they're actually yeah see it says right there 2014 so they're one of the OG custom content creations out there but I still feel like they suit her very well. So we are back at Nightcrawler because he makes amazing hairs and this is the hair that I feel like screams Maleficent so much. So this is the hair, this is what it looks like. It's like slicked back and it looks really, really nice and sleek. So the next thing I had, again, this is one of like the OG custom concept pieces. These were like drawn on eyelashes. At the time, Kijuko didn't make the 3D eyelashes so this was the closest that you could get. Since this is what I use for my Maleficent look I wanted to share it with you guys anyway whether you like it or not this is what I used if you like the 3d eyelashes better I really like the 3d as well but this is what I use for Maleficent so I wanted to share it next up are the nails these are the nails that I used for Maleficent I think I used like the black and the silver look which I think looks really cool but Natalie S makes a lot of really awesome looking nails and I'm sure you can find many other nails as well but these are the ones I use specifically for Maleficent back with the OG custom content this was the choker that I used for Maleficent I believe I just had the black one if I'm not mistaken but it has many other gorgeous colors here and this is by Kanoya who makes really nice custom content as well especially back when the game first came out so this is the eyeshadow I use for Maleficent and I tend to go for this eyeshadow a lot this is by Screaming Mustard and if you guys are wondering what kind of makeup I use and I might not have shown it or what have you chances are it's from Screaming Mustard I absolutely love their makeup custom content so I am obsessed I am obsessed with everything they make so if you don't know what makeup I have chances are it's probably from Screaming Mustard. So next up we have these earrings they're like feather earrings I use them in all black I believe for Maleficent that's what I decided to go for for her look but there's some other colors here as well there's brown blue and so on but that is what I use for her I think it really suits her to kind of represent like her wings in a sense. Another important part of making Maleficent is to make her horns so these are the horns that I use they're from Not Again you can get them on the Sims resource which is pretty nice there's also some by by Leia Lilith as well so if you're interested in those instead but these are the ones I decided to go for as you can see I feel like they they look the most like Maleficent so I went with that so last but not least the most important part of Maleficent's look is her wings I get this question all the time this is from May Sims and it is actually they, she changed he or she changed their name um, so it used to be Ela Sims now it's maysims.com so if you guys are interested in how to download this what you're gonna need to do is if you don't want to pay you have to download it by logging in so you will need to log in then you can download it and then you should be able to get it from there these are the small wings there are also larger wings so I'm gonna go ahead and try to find them actually they're right here so you can go ahead scroll down to the bottom and then you'll find the large ones and the small ones the large ones look ridiculous as you saw in the game they do look 
pretty big, but I feel like, I don't know, that's just what I wanted for Maleficent's look. And that's why I use the smaller ones for Mal. So that's why I have both of them there. That is where I got them. They are from Ela Sims, AKA May Sims. That is where I get the wings that you guys ask me so much about. So I hope you guys found this helpful. So now we are back in the game. I wanted to check and make sure that I actually showed you guys everything. And for some reason, I didn't have this saved. This is the dress that I used. I might go ahead and look that up later, but I wanted to show you a close up of Maleficent's look. So this is the what the eyes look like, what the eyelashes look like, what the earrings look like, the choker and so on. This lipstick, I believe it's from Cinticlia. So if you guys are wondering where that is, it is, yes, it's right here. As you can see, it is Lipstick 11 by Cinticlia and that you can find on the Sims resource as well. This is what the wings look like in game. As you can see, they are pretty ridiculous. And then the smaller wings are on Mal in her dark form. So here we go. So that is what they look like. The smaller ones look a lot better in my opinion, but you know, I feel like it, it represents like mother daughter sort of look, you know, like she has the bigger wings, then her daughter has the smaller wings and it works out really well. For Mal's makeup look, I have just the base game eyeliner. So anybody can use that, that's fine. The eyelashes are from Kijiko. Her blush is from Pauline R. So as you can see written right there, Pauline R. Her lips are from Screaming Mustard as usual, can you guess? Her skin detail is from Nessa Sims. So I'm not sure if Nessa Sim still has that. She kind of, she deleted Uma's hair. So I'm, I'm kind of afraid she deleted some other stuff as well. So for Uma's makeup, her eyeshadow is from Jessica. She did have a Sims resource link. I'm not sure if she still has an account there, but if she does, I will link it in the description down below. And then once again, I'm pretty sure, yes, her lipstick is from Screaming Mustard as usual. The blush is once again by Pauline R. And then the eyeliner is also by Screaming Mustard. What a surprise. Her dress is actually actually from the game. I believe it's from the spooky stuff pack. So if you guys are curious to get that, you can definitely do so. I actually made a tutorial on how to download The Sims 4. So you can go ahead and check that out if you're not aware or you're not sure how to do so. Or if you want to get it for free, I show you how to do that as well. And then there's this undershirt here. This is by 1 billion pixels. I will try if I don't remember, please let me know in the comments if I forget to put a link to something in the description down below. Definitely let me know if I forget to do so. But if you guys want to just Google it for yourself. Um, it's by 1 billion pixels and that's the undershirt that she's wearing. So you can see there's definitely quite a difference if you uh, don't have that there. So yeah. And then I believe her shoes are from the vampire stuff pack. So I didn't really put too much custom content on Uma, just enough to like get by. I'm not seeing anything else that's really important. If you guys have questions of where something is, definitely ask me in the comments down below if I miss something. But most of the stuff here, I don't think is too, too important. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. If you're still something that you have a question on, definitely ask or let me know in the comments down below. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. And if you're new, subscribe to become a mermaid or a merman. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.